Welcome to the NetTex Administration Module instructional video. In this video, we will show you how to use the basic features of the NetTex site that allow you to create content that can be viewed on the iPad. The first thing you need to do is log on to the site. Once you have a NetTex account, you can click on the sign in link that will bring you to the login page. On this page, you have to enter your NetTex username along with your password in order to gain access to the site. Now that we are logged in, the first thing you need to do is create a course. To create a course, you must move your mouse over the Courses button and click on Create Courses. On this page, you will first add a title to your course. Let's call ours 8th grade U.S. History. Now we add a short description to the course. This course covers American history from the period right before the Civil War through the end of World War II. Then select the grades that your course is appropriate for and the subject that the course falls under. The subject area is a required category, so select the best fit even if the subject isn't perfect. The next box is for a course password. A password is only necessary if you're planning on using private items. We will discuss that later, but for now, let's just leave it blank. Next is the status of your course. If you publish a course, then it will be open to be accessed by the iPad app. You should wait until your course is ready to be used to publish it. So for now, we will change the status to keep unpublished. Next, we add an icon that we will represent the course. You can add any image from your computer just as long as it's not copyrighted. Click Browse to find the image file on your computer. In order to turn the image into an icon, we have to crop the image into a square. To do this, click on the magnifying glass, which will open a new window. In this window, use your mouse to select the area that you want to become your icon. The image on the right is exactly what the icon will look like. When you have selected your image, click Crop to complete the process. Now we have an icon, we can click Next Step to continue. The final step in creating a course is to add units. Since we haven't created or chosen any units to put in this course, we will skip this portion and click Save and Finish. Now that we have a course, we need to populate it. Scroll over to Units, then click Create Units. Add a title, subject, grades, and description. When creating a unit, you must also need to add tags, which are keywords that you add to your unit, so that it can be easily found in a search. Click Next Step and add a picture the same way you did for your course. The next thing we do to this unit is fill it up with items which we will go over later. First, let's just save the unit as incomplete. Then we'll look at how to use the unit that other NetTex users have created. Scroll over to Units tab and select Search Units to view the units that are already in the NetTex database. If you want to see units created by other users, select the All Units bubble. You can then search by keyword, teacher, school, subject, or grade level. Let's try searching for units on the Civil War in history. After searching, you can click on any of the already created units. After clicking on a unit, you can view any of the items in that unit. If you like that unit and want to include it in your course, you can click Add to Favorites, which will make it easier for you to add the unit to a course later on. If you want to edit the unit but you did not create the unit, then you first have to click Copy Unit in order to make a copy that you are allowed to edit. After you have named the copy of the unit, you can edit your copy. On the edit page you have two boxes. The one on the left shows you the items that you can add to the unit. The box on the right shows all of the items that are already in that unit. In either box you can click on any item to view it. To remove an item from a unit, click on the Highlight the Unit item 
Then click the Remove button in between the two boxes. To add the item from the left, click the Highlight, then click the Add button. You can change the items that are shown in the left box by selecting Items I Created, My Favorite Items, or All Items in this Subject, which will show you all of the items that are the same in the subject as the unit you are editing, regardless of who created them. In order to change the items in the left box, you must click Update Items. As you can see, there are still a lot of items to choose from. If you want to search the database of items, first click Save as Incomplete to save the changes to the unit. Next, click on Search Items in the Items tab at the top of the page. This page operates very similarly to the Search Unit page we looked at earlier. Let's search for Lincoln under the History subject. When we click on the item here, we can view all of the information about the item, including a description, details on the source, and a link up to the original page, which where the item was found. Click View Item to see the actual material, and decide whether or not you want to add it to the course. If you like it, you can click Add to Favorites, which will make it easier to find when you go back to the Edit Unit page, which we will go back to now. So we click Search Units, then find the unit that we created. Since we created that unit, we can simply click Edit in the right column to go directly to that Edit Unit page. Now remember that on the Edit Unit page, we can choose to view items that we've added to our favorites list. Choose that bubble, then click Update Items. And now you will see that item we most recently added to our favorites is at the bottom of the list. We select the item, click Add, and now it is in our unit. If you have a document, video, or slideshow, or any other piece of appropriate media on your computer that you want to add, you will have to create an item. There are two ways to do this. You can scroll over items and click Create Items, like we did for units and courses. Or, if you are on the edit page for the unit in which you wanted your item to go, then you can click Upload New Item, which will bring you to the same page as Create Item. When creating an item, you have to select which type of media it is. Then select the file on your computer. Add your title, grades, subject, description, and tags. Then you have to add copyright information. In the source box, put whatever website you got the document from. On the right, give any copyright details, such as Creative Commons license. Then add the link that goes directly to the page, which you found the file. Lastly, you have the option of making the item as private. If you want to do this, then it will not be usable by anyone besides you. So only use this option if you have an item that you are not allowed to share or do not want to share with other teachers. When you are done, click Save and now your new file will be in the Items I Created section of the Edit Unit page. Add that item to the unit that we made and save the unit. The last thing we need to do is add our units to the course. Click Search Courses to find your course. Then click Edit. Adding units to courses works the same way as adding items to units. So once we find new units under Units I Created, we can add each unit to the course and then save it. 